Now, as the golf champions headed for the 19th hole, the tennis masters served up their show. The venue for the 2005 Masters Cup was Shanghai's new tennis center in southwest Minghang District. Despite the event's worst ever string of withdrawals, it still ignited a city's interest in a sport that's underdeveloped in China. I interviewed Michael Luvano, executive director of Ten Events Asia, a company involved in organizing the competition. He explained how this event is turning profits for sponsors and organizers. Now, this is the second time for China to host the Masters Cup, especially Shanghai. Why do you think this event, this top-class、uh, tennis competition, is held in a place like China, where the sport isn't that popular and we're not really that strong in tennis? Well, it's a fair question. I think、uh, we, certainly, my friends from overseas and whatnot, ask that very question. But I think after the 2002 Tennis Masters Cup edition here in Shanghai. Based on the success of that event, which we had a, an attendance of almost 95 percent,、um, we had record、uh, media coverage.、Mm-hmm. We had record international broadcast coverage. I think that certainly there's that aspect on, on the success of 2002.、Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of it also has to do with、uh, the city of Shanghai、mm-hmm. and their enthusiasm、um, in presenting the city. He, as a host、mm-hmm. of the highest level of international sports events, I mean, certainly F1、uh, is, is a very good example that compares with a truly government-supported,、uh, encouraged、uh, type of event where the world's best are showcased in Shanghai. Now, do you think the sponsors' marketing strategy is also a factor? I mean, Hanukkah. Is the chief the main sponsor for this competition for two years already, and we know China is one of the world's largest beer market. So, is there any correlation here? Most definitely, there's a, a correlation. Heineken is very unique because they've had an association with tennis for over 10, 12 years around the world.、Um, so, not only do they understand the sport, they understand how to leverage. The sport. They understand what appeals to their demographic, their target group,、mm-hmm. uh, for their brand and how their brand, how they want to position their brand、mm-hmm. in any given marketplace. The interesting story with Heineken is in 1998, and almost kind of referring back to your question before,、mm-hmm. the big question was was China ready and was Heineken ready to make such a huge investment、right. in tennis in a market、mm-hmm. where. The sport is not mainstream yet. Right, right. it was a high risk、yes. decision. It、yeah. was a high risk decision, which has proven, obviously,、um, with our relationship extending through our three years with the Masters、mm-hmm. Cup now, that will last over, you know, ten, eleven years.、Mm-hmm. It was the right decision. They have always wanted to position their brands as a very upwardly mobile, a very、uh, chic.、Mm-hmm. Um, Type of high quality premium uh, product uh, in the beer market, and I think they certainly have succeeded with that in their association with tennis, from the Heineken Open to the Tennis Masters Cup,、um, has been very very successful for them.、Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep doing it. Trust me, because it's not a small amount of investment. That they、uh, make with、uh, the tournament and with the project. What about the return on investment so far? Well, the return on investment certainly, when the fast consumer, you know, good like beer,、uh, certainly like Heineken.、Uh, in 2002, for example, I guess the best example、mm-hmm. during their leverage campaigns, their activation campaigns, which was about 90 to 120 days prior to the event and during through the event proper, their sales grew 46 percent in Shanghai specifically, but around the country it was、uh, probably 10 to 12 percent. Now there are other peripheral returns on investment that you could measure, of course,、um, broadcast、uh, hours. You know, if your logo is seen, you know, community goodwill. You know, brand awareness. brand awareness, of course, the relationship that they share、mm-hmm. with、uh, the Shanghai government, and and this, you know, the, showing the the city of Shanghai、um, and even China that they're there to support the efforts being made to position not just the city of Shanghai but the country of China as being able to host the highest level of world-class sport. How long does it take, you think? Uh, for a major sports event,、uh, 
to become self-sustaining from the sponsorship's point of view. If we were talking just about the Tennis Masters mm -hmm. Cup, which we won the bid to host it for three years, mm -hmm. um, our, and we have a brand new state-of-the-art facility uh, in Minhong called the Chizong Stadium. The event is a multi million dollar undertaking in terms of revenue that needs to be raised to just cover costs um, it, it exceed 13 million dollars now the formula obviously we need to create in terms of doing a marketing plan what the sponsorship needs are required what ticketing sales need to be merchandise television revenues really kind of the ABC's of, of how sports marketing works and how being able to run a successful event it probably, uh, if I had to talk out loud, if you break even the first year, mm -hmm. you're a major success. Did we break even? I think we will. A little bit depends on ticket sales. It's so hard to say. That's why our business is so risky. Mm -hmm. um, because it is, there's always those variables. Uh, I believe we will break even uh, without a question, actually, because we were sold out for our semifinals and finals. Mm -hmm over 30 days ago. Mm -hmm. So we are cautiously optimistic always. We don't want to be too optimistic because we always can do better. Um, we should be profitable in, in my view uh, in, the, in the coming years. Mm -hmm. But um, startups with a major function like this, uh, there's challenges because people always have the well let me see how it goes. Even though we were very successful in 2002, uh, which I should mention, you know, obviously sponsorship rates have, have climbed since then. Mm -hmm. But um, it's always uh, challenging, exciting. It keeps our, our organization busy on this one project on a year-round basis. Mm -hmm. So we're committed, and uh, profitability is, is something we would is what we aspire to. Mm -hmm. While the Shanghai government has given strong support to the competition, Mr. Luvano hopes more local sponsors will participate in the Masters Cup next time it comes to Shanghai.